in one of the ways and I make it stick, you can't sometimes just to change the terminology of common martial arts techniques. And tonight we're going to focus on the jab and the reverse punch and discover that for some of the young kids, four, five, six year olds, get a little confused when I say, show me a jab or a reverse punch. And I discover when you change the terms to front punch, back punch, it makes it much easier for them to uh, execute the technique that I'm asking them to. So, get into a fighting session. So when I ask Cooper which hand is in front, which is your front hand? That's the front hand, yes. And so when I say, show me a front punch, you know what I'm talking about, okay? And when I say, show me the back punch, and the back hand, so I'll do it again. Butt punch, back punch, butt punch, back punch. So just by changing some words, we make it stick to the kids. So one of the things that I've discovered with the kids is that sometimes it's necessary to change the terminology to make it stick with them so we can really get down and practice the techniques because if they get messed up with terminology, confusion reigns. So we want to cut down on the confusion of the kids to make it stick. Front punch again, back punch, front punch, back punch, turn red, it can be a fist bump. You got anything to say? Please subscribe to his YouTube channel. Thank you. That's right. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like, comment, and share this video out. And if you have any uh, suggestions for future Make a Stick videos, send me an email. Okay? Thank you. See you next week.